this one is late. Uh, I really thought it would become earlier, but unfortunately not. So, well, either way, last week's chapter of this was for me ultimate despair while the rest of the world celebrated. I guess in the end it's because people just lie of uh, despair and the fact that a Junko is a junk. But you have to realize that a Junko will fall one day. I would have preferred if he at least coughed up a little blood he didn't have to be defeated. But yeah, the Angry Enemy fan here to bring you a tired review of uh, or summary of One Piece chapter 924. Of it all, it, it's, uh, Luffy is of course defeated, but there, here the author is actually noting out that uh, he is, well, defeated, but he's alive and he's, well, he's unconscious, yet he's still conscious. He's glaring at Kaido, even though he is unconscious. It is also revealed that Wanokuri once again shows their advanced uh, abilities, because it turns out that the sea stone that we have seen so much in the world of One Piece actually originated from Wanokuri. Where, but it, since it's the only place that had the craftsman capable of doing that, in a way that actually makes sense because you know, a long time ago it was said the Kusuki clan managed to carve the Ponegriff, stones that are indestructible, mind you. Part of me actually begin to wonder if uh, Ponegrif is made of the same material as a sea stone, but that can't be possible because Robin has touched the Ponegrif and she hasn't shown any signs of weaknesses. So, uh, but it does confirm that yes, the one who could, uh, Kusuki could uh, indeed carve the Ponegrif. So of course they can carve the sea stone, but how? Well, that's another story. Law tries to intervene because saving Luffy, but he gets shot by a small needle by Hawkins and uh, is forced to escape. While Kaido actually decides to do something extremely stupid. I'm glad he decided to do something this stupid, because this just further solidifies his defeat uh, all the more. He decides to take Luffy prisoner and break his will so he can become a powerful subordinate. But Kaido is the only one who is actually noticing that uh, while Luffy seems unconscious, he is still staring at him. So uh, that's apparently how Ka how Luffy finds his uh, troop members. So no, Kaido finds his troop members, so to speak. He breaks their will for them to serve him. Is it possible that all of the calamities? Did the same. I mean, we can only guarantee so far that Hawkins and Apu served Kaido out of fear because they didn't want to die. Therefore, their will were broken. But this episode does confirm what happened to Captain Kidd from, you know, the Kito pirates. Because it's also revealed that even he has Haushuku no Haki as Luffy's unconscious body admits Haushuku and knocks out the others. I have to say, and it's also confirmed by Shotemaru, who is also, by the way, this episode revealed to indeed be Ashura Goji, that Oden also had Haushuku. It's just what Kaido is saying that's pretty strange, though. He's saying, he confirms for us that Kid, Kito has Haushuku when he says, uh, just like that Brad Kit. The, it's the other words I don't understand what he's saying. We don't need that many conquerors. What is that meant to imply? I mean, a lot of people will say that so far we have seen kings conquer that often, but you have to realize, so far, yes, we have seen king conquerors a lot more than before, but we have only seen it in people of noticeable strength. So... Uh, the biggest question for me is, what does Kaido mean? We, we do not mean that many conquerors. Is he implying that there are more than... I mean, we can only guarantee that Kaido has conquerors, Aki. You know, Haushuku. So is it possible someone else in his troop has that? Very likely. I mean, uh, Katakuri and the Big Mom Pirates had it, along with his mother. So... Uh, we can only think that some disaster must have that. But Kitu have Haoshuku. 
that just further shows that Kitto has potential of becoming a very dear threat to Luffy. Although given the end of this chapter, one wonders exactly how their relationship is going to be. So Kaido flies off as uh, Law somehow managed to escape from Hawkins, despite having his power sealed by a needle. Kinmon sees his wife Tsuru and sees Shotemaru, and it's he who confirms that uh, Shotemaru is Ashura Doji. While uh, the rest of the Straw Hats has turned out to have survived thanks to that ugly ninja who also has a who also has a devil fruit uh, something like mature mature no the yuku yuku no mi so uh, and apparently she's saying she was known to be bewitch people well it turns out she is even capable of maturing things of this world so she created a hole and chopper did gado pointo so they didn't sink all the way to the ocean Ukuki, uh, Kiku decides to reveal to them what has happened, especially Luffy being captured. Tama is revealed to have been saved, luckily enough. I would have been kind of pissed off if that didn't happen. But it's not Law who saves her, it's uh, Inuarashi. Elsewhere, the rest of the gang, along with Frankie, Na, Robin, and Usopp, hears the news, because it turns out that Wanakuri do indeed have a news, just not uh, world news. And Kaido ordered his men to note that to take off the note pirate. But every one rec of his crew members recognize Luffy, and they all make the same shocking face. Even Robin, mind you. Aha face. I have to say, seeing Robin doing that ugly face is beyond horrifying. Also, Soro hears it as he's on the ship and somehow eating a bad wasabi. So. Uh, and Luffy is transported to uh, the next day to a Wanukuri country called Odon, which is another food, where the factories are, where a lot of the craftsmen are working their butts off on slaves of the Kaido pirates. We see that uh, the beast pirates taunt people with uh, different, with tainted fish or food. And apparently one guy or person is unlocked in a cage where apparently the order is to give one poisonous fish per day with the bones removed. As Luffy is dragged in while having his face covered in bandages, the rest uh, of the beast pirate mock him, only to, for a person to shoot a fish bone into another beast pirate's throat. We do not see who that guy is, but we apparently he has a very strong immune system to that even can digest poison and spit out uh, and spit out the bones I mean the silhouette of that guy I can swear I have seen it before for a moment it almost looked like Vegapunk silhouette but that's impossible so uh, who it is I don't know maybe it's an ally Luffy is thrown into the jail where the Beast Pirates reveal that they are gonna work him to death until his spirit is broken and then he'll serve Kaido. It only turns out that Luffy is thrown in the same jail as Captain Kit and both of them bloodied but with anger in their faces just say that you will pay for this Kaido. And only then do they recognize each other as suddenly we, the finished end of this chapter ends with Wanokuri's first act, Finn. So it turns out that the Wanokuri arc is going to have Japanese cinema-like moments. And it turns out it's going to be put inside Act 1. Well, Act 1 was despair. So what's Act 2? Preparation. This basically is this chapter. Nothing big really happened. Yes, the, the fact that uh, Luffy, yes, he lost. But his will hasn't been broken. So that is, in a way, satisfying for me. At least this chapter was better than last week. It also turns out that uh, the ugly ninja woman has a devil fruit as well. And uh, uh, Tama is saved, so I do like that. But still, Wanokuri is the one who is fine adding the art of sea stone. Hmm. One can almost uh, wonder how the rest of the world managed to find out a way to harness it. Part of me wonder, is it possible that Lord Odin spread that to the, the rest of the world when he went out on an adventure? No, I don't think so. But exactly how old is Seastone technology in the outside world? 
I don't remember if we have heard that. But apparently, according to the smoker, it's a newly discovered thing. So it can't be that old. However, Impel Down is among... is 20 years old. I don't know... no, I don't think they had Seastone then. Because Shiki could turn off... could cut off his bones and then fly off. So maybe it's... maybe it's really is... maybe it really was Odin who spread the knowledge. Or whoever it is. Shutemaru is Ashugara Doshi. A guy who respects strength, that's why he served Odin. But he doesn't serve the rest of the world because they're cowards in his minds. So, yeah, Luffy is uh, beaten, but he's not out. So, how will he do that? Now, what will happen next? Will uh, Kitu and Luffy force to team up? Well, they have a common enemy and a common hatred for Kaido. We'll probably finally find out what happened to the Kitu pirates. Uh, but, uh, I don't know. I mean, Kitu has always seemed to be a an evil counterpart to Luffy, in a way. So I'm not really sure they can work together. But I guess time will tell. You give me a false if you have any. <laughs>